Everyone, it's Ross, and we're gonna talk about rooting fig cuttings today. Specifically, we're gonna talk about those cuttings that just don't do anything. Uh, they've been sitting in your rooting environment maybe for months, at least a month and a half. Uh, I would recommend that if you don't see your cutting doing something in about a month, you know, it's time to take some measures. And what does that mean? Well, we should be checking the soil moisture, okay? See what the moisture is like in the soil. Maybe even take the cutting out of the soil, turn the pot upside down, and really very carefully take all the soil out of the pot, inspect the cutting, see if the cutting's all right, see if it's rooted, see what's going on, right? A month's gone by, you should see something at that point. If you got the right temperatures, you got the right environment, um, you're doing everything right, you should be seeing something. And we've all got this, right? We've all got this problem where certain cuttings for months just don't do anything. So if you've done that already, you put it back in its pot, the cutting looks healthy, everything looks great, then here's what I recommend is that you find somewhere in your house, maybe your greenhouse, maybe even outside, where temperatures are consistently over 80, 85, maybe even 90 degrees Fahrenheit, for me, it's up here on this, this ledge and this ledge over here. This is where I was actually planning to start my seeds, but I've realized that this location is so warm up here because heat rises in this closet, but also the heat gets trapped in here if I close this closet door. And I'll close this closet door for like two days at a time, really get this rooting environment cooking. And all that heat rises up here and really warms up these cuttings they have a crazy ambient temperature and here's the results of what I just said so you can see down here these are really freshly rooted well freshly leafed out cuttings that really have only been in this process for about three weeks um, so about three weeks ago we took all the cuttings that have been sitting in those pots for months and haven't done a thing. They haven't leafed out. They looked all right. We put them up on that shelf, cranked up the temperature, and three weeks later, that's what about half of them look like. The other half still haven't done anything. We've got one here that's dead. Uh, there's another one in this pot here that has already died. And there's also another one in here I'm expecting to die, and maybe one of them has already died. So I'm not saying this is going to be 100% guarantee. But what I am saying is that you really need to give your cuttings a chance here. You be the grower, the smarter grower, and just change up the environment for these cuttings. Don't expect them to do all the work. Give them a little bit of a push, and they'll do the rest. That's kind of what I'm saying. Um, now, of course, when we crank up the temperatures, a couple things gonna happen. So, some of them will dry out. That's unavoidable. You can see the top half of this cutting here, even though it's wrapped in parafilm, is a different color than the cutting itself. This is certainly dried out. That's kind of the risk you guys take. The additional risk here is that you're also increasing your chances of rot in the soil. So if your soil is too wet, the higher the temperature, the higher the chance that these harmful microbes are gonna come in and actually try to break down the wood, which is rot, right? It's breaking it down to turn it into compost. In time, of course. But because this is wood, it just, it takes a lot longer of time. Also, if we callus this up, which if your cuttings have been sitting in these pots for months, they all should be calloused up. They all should be ready to go to put out roots. They should be ready to go to leaf out. So all we need to do really is give them that extra shove, extra push, and they'll take care of it for us. Um, I really don't believe that certain varieties of figs are just harder to root than others. I really do believe that it's all about the temperature. Figure out what temperature each of these guys need and give it to them. And if there's some that are just straggling behind, lagging behind, figure out as the grower the appropriate environment. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching this one in its entirety. I also want to thank you guys for being such a great audience. 
um, please comment down below and like this video if you found it helpful. Check out the other videos in the Rooting Figs playlist that we've created since the beginning of the whole winter, the whole rooting process. We've documented every little step. Down here we actually have some tomato plants that we up-potted, put them into half gallon sized pots, and these things are going to be massive by the time we plant them out in about a month and a half from now. All right, guys. Thank you so much again. Take care, and I will catch you all for tomorrow's video.